Okay, Mishnah Dalet. Cher shot of a katan pigiosan ra. It comes to a uh, um, deaf mute or a mentally defective person or a minor. Meeting up with them is bad, bad plan. Meaning, in the context of what we're talking about, it doesn't mean you shouldn't meet up with them. It means that when it comes to damages caused by them, or causing damage to them, it's, it's not good for you. It's, it's not going to end well. Don't, don't start up with them, basically. <laughs> if you damage them, you have to pay. You have to pay all the five damages like we talked about till now. <laughs> but if they damage somebody else, paturin, they're exempt. Right? They don't have any, uh, uh, they're not b'nei das, they can't be held responsible, and therefore uh, it's just going to end badly for you. You mess with them. Same is true in regards to a slave or a woman meeting up with them is bad. You cause damage to one of them, you're responsible. But they damage somebody else, they're going to be exempt in the case of the Evan and the Isha because ultimately they don't have any finances really to pay because the, the woman's uh, finances really belong to her husband and, and according to Allah. And the slave doesn't have anything. To, it's all owned by the master. And therefore, uh, they cause damage. There, there's nothing for them. There's nothing to take from them. And therefore, they are exempt. However, they can pay after time. Namely, If the woman gets divorced, and now she has her, you know, now she has her own uh, finances, or if the slave gets freed and he has his own finances, they still have to pay, even though they caused the damage at the time when they didn't have the funds, at the time that she was married, or at the time that the slave was a slave. Uh, still, afterwards, you're still going to be able to attach their uh, estate. You're still going to be able to, to, to take money from them for the damage that they caused. <laughs>